Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 3. Saison 3 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Raphaël Sayar. Hello. Thank you for being with us today. You are architect. In two or three sentences, could you introduce us to your architectural practice So, uh, hello Charlotte. Uh, so, we are uh, an architecture office based in uh, Nantes and Paris. We are four, I should say. It. I work with my parents that are Eric Sayar, Evelyn Rocheteau, and uh, another associate called Grégory Evest. We have all been a wide range of uh, programs, uh, ranging from housings, uh, dwellings, uh, mixed-use programs, as well as uh, public facilities like schools, retirement homes and everything. We, we really uh, have a, a lot of uh, different expertise in wooden structure uh, or concrete, uh, more uh, traditional uh, realization. And uh, we also uh, start a, a new branch in urbanism. Okay. Now, can you tell us about your project in Pontchâteau? Yes, of course. So the high school of uh, Pontchâteau is a project that we, we won uh, quite uh, recently in 2018. It was uh, curious for us to be uh, accepted to the competition because we already built the middle school, uh, like about 500 meters from the site. Um, so the, the particularity of this project is, uh, so it's launched by the Pays de la Loire uh, region. And it was uh, in a really particular site with a, a wetland and a blue corridor crossing half of the, the plot. Uh, so we really uh, fought hard not to actually uh, uh, build on the, the wetland and to accord the project to its uh, surroundings. Uh, w what we did is uh, comparing to the, the, the command that was to actually build a bridge between two parts of the high school, we decided to concentrate all the project on one side of the the little blue corridor that was uh, crossing the plot. So it had us to kind of create a compact building with a uh, like two stories and uh, really leave all the rest of the, the plot for a big park and uh, a space for the, the students to be able to, to rest and, and to enjoy the, the, the landscape. By doing that, we actually created two pedestrian access from the parking of the gymnasium to the, the high school. So it's really light structures that are going on top of the, the wetlands and it, it allows to have a, an entrance that is really large and um, calling the... Like a piazza? L like a plaza, yeah pretty much. Um, so by working with this entrance, we have um, the library that is on top, uh, leaving a, a really large plaza for going to the, the, the hall. So the, the entrance um, gives uh, towards the, the kind of a new program that we, we uh, created for, for this operation is the bioclimatic atrium that wasn't asked by the, the programmist, but we really thought that it was a, a way to link all the different uh, spaces of the school. It's important to know that the, the high school is a, a technical school as well as a regular high school. So we have really heavy pieces of uh, program uh, like uh, aerofield uh, kind of construction uh, for wooden work. Uh, so it's big pieces that are organized on the ground floor. And then on the first and the second floor, you can find all the different classrooms. And it was really important for us to have a circular flow of uh, well, circulation for the students. So they would meet eventually uh, in this uh, bioclimatic uh, space that is uh, next to the library. So it really generates a space where people meet, uh, where they can talk. And, and it's kind of like an indoor-outdoor space where you have... Uh, wide variety of, of uh, vegetation that is 
uh, I've been worked with the landscape architect that is with us to create curiosity uh, for the, the students towards, uh, well, plants of uh, elsewhere. But we also really try to preserve the, the landscape around the, the site. So all the, the plants that are actually local. And um, by uh, putting this kind of big high school program in this plot that is uh, kind of outside of the Pont Chateau city, we didn't want the building to look too massive and uh, to, to see too much. So we decided to use um, metal, reflective metal, to be able to like blur the, the contour and to see the reflection of the beautiful landscape surrounding the, the building into its facade. So eventually we've seen the mock-ups of the facade and it really works well because you really see all the reflection that is cutted by the, the frame of the, of the metal cladding. So we, we will see that uh, eventually built. And, and I think it's when it's built that we're going to see the, the right effect. Another important thing for us uh, in this project was the, the kind of um, ecological footprint uh, because it's uh, HQ, so environmentally uh, positive building. It has a label E2C1. So we had to kind of add a lot of uh, wooden component in the structure of the, the building. Most of the classrooms are actually in uh, wooden uh, beams and uh, pillars, which uh, gives the possibility to actually repartition afterwards the, the composition of the building. Uh, we also wanted to put some recycled material in uh, the library with the, a new kind of material that uses the waste of the aluminum industry, which we thought relevant for uh, ionotic uh, fields. Uh, so the young people that will work here will be surrounded with kind of new high-tech uh, material that are uh, sober and, and virtuous. Uh, we, we also wanted to reuse the wood uh, that we cut for the, the construction of the building to make a scenography in the, the canteen where uh, all the round uh, wooden cut will be framed in a wall so you can also see well the the past of the site uh, in this space uh, to finish i think it, it's a really complex project that for the the client asked a, a lot of different things for for example the the canteen had to be accessible uh, a side of the high school all the the sport facilities the there is also a, an interna where student will stay and it had to have a different access and from the main entrance so all those different access made us ask how to make this building more porous and more accessible uh, by everyone and i think uh, uh, it shows uh, really well our, our uh, ability to work uh, with a complex site and a complex uh, program by the client. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Raphael. Bye-bye, everyone, and see you next Wednesday for New Comdarchi in English. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robour, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comme d'Archie Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcasts or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.